Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If you would at this time, please turn your vehicles off for tonight's ceremony. On behalf of the Columbus Grove Board of Education, administration, faculty, and staff, Columbus Grove Local Schools would like to welcome you to the 142nd commencement ceremony for Columbus Grove High School. High school commencement marks a significant milestone in a young person's life. Graduation represents the end of your high school career and begins your journey into adult life. I have heard a lot about the class of 2020 being the class that will always be remembered for the way the school year ended due to the pandemic. However, I do not believe this to be the case for the Columbus Grove class of 2020. I believe you will be remembered for much more. Tonight, we will recognize 31 honor graduates, which is the most in school history. This group has transformed itself from being referred to as that class to a class that has continued to lead Columbus Grove Schools in a positive direction. You have demonstrated remarkable growth, maturity, commitment, dedication, and hard work over the last four years that is commendable. Therefore, as I conclude my opening remarks, I encourage this class to be proud of what you have been able to accomplish. Instead of being the class that is remembered for the way the year ended, I believe you will be remembered for more, more for the resilience and toughness you demonstrated as you finished your high school career. You navigated through adversity to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep moving forward. I can't think of a better lesson to learn as you start your journey through adult life. You may not be around to bear witness, but these traits will add to the legacy you are leaving behind to the next group of students. At this time, I would like to invite Sydney Witteberg, Student Council President, to come forward to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. After which, Brees Pingle, who is our Senior Class President, will then deliver the student welcome. Please remain in your car with your attention on the screen where we will have a flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The graduating class of 2020 would like to welcome all of you here and watching this evening. Whether a parent, relative, friend, or teacher, we thank you for the support and encouragement that has helped to guide and inspire us through the years. We deeply appreciate everything you have done for us, and your attendance here tonight means a great deal to us. Each year, all members of the senior class are given the opportunity to speak at their graduation ceremony. This year, the committee selected four students to speak this evening. Please allow me to introduce to you the first speaker for the class of 2020, Paige Langhouse. Following Paige will be a speech by Emily Reininger. Both Paige and Emily are honor graduates. You will hear more about them and our other honor graduates later in the program. CG class of 2020, what a year it's been. We've been on a roller coaster throughout our entire high school career, and that roller coaster has finally come to an end. Our senior year definitely added some surprise twists and turns, downhill slopes, and loop de loops, to which I don't think any ride at Cedar Point would have compared. Despite complaining about our less than desirable senior trip at the start of our senior year, 
In light of everything that's happened this year, I feel that I am not alone in saying that we're all a little thankful that our class trip was just a day trip to Cedar Point. Freshman year rolled in and we all thought we were past our awkward junior high days. But honestly, looking back, being a freshman wasn't much better. As upperclassmen, we saw all the weird ways of freshmen, running through the halls in fear of getting to class late, or carrying their books for the next two or three periods to be prepared. And we thought to ourselves, man, I was never that bad. But let's face it, we probably were. Lo and behold, junior and senior year hit, and we carried the bare minimum to class, like that one pencil that some of us owned. And we got to class three seconds before the bell rang. And if you never thought of yourself as a procrastinator or just doing enough to get by, senioritis will be sure to let you know. As seniors, we hoped each morning we would wake up to that delay or cancellation text message and were quite dismayed that Ohio had a fairly mild winter this year. Although we've grown in our ways and learned the ins and outs of high school, like you walk on the right side of the stairway, I believe we came in each year with expectations and goals, but just like many New Year's resolutions, they didn't last very long. We told ourselves our notes were going to be super organized, legible, and easy to understand, and that maybe we would listen to the teacher's advice to actually review our notes each night to learn the material. But let's face it, after the first probably three days of school, we were back to our old ways. Because who has time for that? We've all got our extracurricular activities, that new episode of our favorite show on Netflix is out, and learning that trending TikTok dance is absolutely necessary. The memories created at Columbus Grove will definitely carry with us no matter how far we may go. Being a part of the student section and cheering on our Bulldogs, homecomings, prom, and just our everyday experiences in the hallways of CG. I'm sure our calculus class will always remember the day Mr. Bremer about peed his mathematical pants when he figured out something on GeoGebra or our biomed class, convincing Mr. Hassan to let us have Friendsgiving, which having a food day in his class was never heard of, as long as we kept it a secret. If I've learned one thing throughout these four years, it's high schoolers are just as bad at keeping a secret as little kids. So before we all go our own ways, CG class of 2020, I wish the best of luck to each and every one of you in your endeavors after high school, whether it be entering the workforce, serving in the military, or furthering your education. I firmly believe our experiences, even these unforeseen circumstances, have prepared us to find great success in our futures. And of course, we could not have done it without the endless support from our teachers, administration, and parents. Thanks to our teachers who put up with our senioritis and dealt with our minimal motivation, which only thrived when we moved to online schooling. And to our administration who put in countless hours to ensure this special day happened. And especially thanks to our parents who had to deal with us at home these past few months and who I'm sure cannot wait to get away from us for a while. Thank you. First of all, I would like to thank all of the faculty, family, and friends for being here on our big day. Your support throughout these past four years, and especially these past few months, mean more to us than you will ever know. So, I'm going to start at the beginning. When we first entered preschool, the idea of graduating hadn't even formed in our brains yet. We were still depending on our parents to zip up our coats and tie our shoes. Well, at least I was anyway. Fast forward to grade school, 
we finally branched out, tried new things, and met more people. It was a much simpler time, filled with coloring homework and multiplication flashcards, and the only thing you really needed to worry about was not getting tagged during a game of tag. Middle school was slightly more challenging, um, and it was when the time when you gained the reputation of the terrible sixth grade gym class. Good thing we grew out of that dysfunctional stage. At least I hope we did. Moving along, junior high was the opportunity to try new sports and clubs and expand our horizon for the upcoming years of high school. As an eighth grader, I felt on top of the world. No longer were we the little seventh graders fresh out of middle school. We were the top dogs. And then freshman year hit. All of that ego we had built up over the past year disappeared. We had to learn to fit in with the upperclassmen in sports and even in some of our classes. I think one of the most important things we learned is that you never walk on the left side of the hallway. And if you even think about going up the left side of the stairs, consider your life over. Sophomore year, I realized that schoolwork is definitely not a walk in the park. I had never known real fear until I heard Mr. Mayberry say these words, clear off your desk and take out a pen or pencil. Those multiple choice tests still haunt me to this day. Junior year came and we were finally upperclassmen. We no longer had to wait in the back of the line at team meals or hike upstairs to our lockers between every class. I felt like we had finally made it. But junior year, just like every other year of high school, flew by and then it was our time to become seniors. In the beginning of the school year, I was hopeful for what was to come. I was having a great volleyball season. I was enjoying all my classes and I had even been able to get a lead in the school musical. Little did I know that my senior year was about to reach an abrupt ending. Our ongoing jokes in Spanish and calculus had seemingly reached their end. Sorry about your chair, Caitlin. The coronavirus seemed like such a distant problem that I never thought it would affect my life here in Columbus Grove. March 13th, 2020 was the last time we walked the halls and physically went to class as CG students. I was hopeful in the beginning of quarantine that this virus would be over and done with within the first three weeks. I had not expected it to completely take over my senior year. In these past two months without school, I realized how much I had taken for granted. I have also realized that no matter how hard you try, Zoom prom is definitely not the same. But instead of looking at all the things that I was missing, I shifted my focus to see all the new opportunities I had. I began to be more active by taking bike rides and also spending more time growing my faith in God, which has definitely helped me through this time. Overall, this crisis has shown me what an amazing class I'm a part of. My classmates are some of the brightest and most considerate people I have ever met. And throughout quarantine, I have seen the resilience to not lose hope. We are no longer known as a troubled sixth grade gym class, but as a class that had to put themselves last in order to save the lives of others. So, congratulations, class of 2020. We finally made it. Thank you. Next, I would like to present to you our third graduate speaker this evening, Ivy Parker. Following Ivy will be our fourth speaker, Cassie Heilman. Ivy and Cassie are also honor graduates in the class of 2020. Good evening, class of 2020, friends, family, and administrators. I am so very honored to stand before you today. I would like to begin my speech by thanking our superintendent, Nick Verhoff, principal, Brian Best, board of education members, guidance counselor, Mindy Losh, as well as all of our teachers. You all worked very hard in adapting to a new form of education in such a time of need, as well as working together to educate us in the past 12 years. 
I would also like to extend a thank you to all of our essential workers and healthcare workers working on the front lines. For those of you, much like Patrick Starr, that live under a rock, although it might be quite cozy, you have missed out on quite the event. The COVID-19 epidemic closed down schools, shut down public places, prohibited public gatherings, and even ended our senior year early. I know I can speak for the entire class of 2020 in saying I did not think that March 13th will be my last day of high school. I know I personally have a lot of other things that should be currently occupying my mind, but I cannot shake the fact that I most certainly was not happy with the last outfit I ever wore to high school. I wasn't even wearing heels. We are so grateful to live in the presence of such a supportive community. You are quick to find ways for all of us to still experience some parts of our senior year. It was not exactly what we thought the end of our high school experience would be like, but it most certainly was a lot better with the help of our community. From the lighting of our football stadium to the posters uptown, I think it is fair to say we have a beyond loving community behind us. In the midst of online homework, Mrs. Bumgardner shared with her anatomy students a class motto, Semper Gumpy, which translates to, to always flexible. Believe me when I say that being flexible is one of the most important qualities to have with online learning. From Zoom meetings to homework due by 3 p.m., I, as well as my classmates, had to find ways to be flexible in order to keep the grade up. And I'm going to assume that we did a phenomenal job, considering we were all sitting here before you today. There were plenty of mornings I found it hard to roll out of bed for school, but an hour later, I always found myself sitting in first period. I will most certainly miss high school, whether it be laughing in the hallways, walking to class with my friends, finding ways to divert Mr. Hashton's attention away from biomed-related topics, or driving Madam Shorjan insane. Do not tell him I said this, but I might actually miss Mr. Hassan's crazy analogies. Sometimes they actually did help explain a topic. I was just too stubborn to admit it. Also, if Madam asks if you finished last night's worksheet from the packet, remind her we went over it in class yesterday. I always found it annoying when people told me to cherish my time in high school because it goes by fast. Little did I know they were right. One thing I know I will miss the most about high school is cheering on Friday nights under the Clymer Stadium lights for the Columbus Grove Bulldog football team. As a cheerleader, it was so exciting to be involved in the Friday night football action because I remember sitting in the stands as an elementary student wishing to be there one day. Those moments are the one that I often find myself reminiscing over. I knew there would be younger adults that could not wait to be where I was, and if I could, I would tell them that it goes by way too fast and they should cherish their time in high school. Ironic, huh? So here's to the class of 2020. May you find yourself content with all the memories you made in your time at Columbus Grove High School. I wish you all the best of luck with all that your future holds, and I hope that you remember that once a Bulldog, always a Bulldog. Thank you. It would be impossible to begin this speech without acknowledging the elephant in the room, or depending on the recent circumstances, I should probably say the elephant in the Zoom. High school didn't end like we all thought it would, but before we come to the unconventional end to our time at CG, we should start from the beginning. The class of 2020 attended kindergarten in the basement of the old school building, but I'm sure all of us remember that those rooms certainly had the best playground access. We spent the next three and a half years in that building, with the frequently flooding art room and the cafeteria devoid of all windows. You knew you were growing up when the classes started to be on the second floor and you got to use the fire escapes to go to recess. But in the middle of fourth grade, we left that building behind and switched over to a new and wonderful school. I remember getting to sign the concrete under the new gym and specifically asking Mrs. Wilson to write Let's Go Dogs, spelling dogs D-A-W-G-S, of course. We got to watch through the crystal clear windows as the workers assemble, assembled the brand new playground. If you recall, it had been a minute since we had seen some proper playground equipment. Shea Macaroni had become the hottest game on the block when the, yard, when the playground was a yard of stones. However, unfortunately for the less athletic population of students, including myself, a much more athletic game called Pepsi quickly took over. 
But in a few short years, we were in junior high, and recess was a thing of the past, and sadly, Axe Body Spray had just hit it big on the market of prepubescent boys. But no one wants to spend too much time focusing on the months and months of sheer awkwardness that was junior high, so I'll move past it quickly. Finally, 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 we made it to high school. We got to pick our classes and get a chance to be involved in all our extracurriculars at the high school level. We got to sing with the choir, play with the band, practice with the team, and dance at homecoming, all for the very first time. We began walking these halls doe-eyed and nervous, but quickly realized they were as much our home as anywhere else. And before we knew it, all those firsts were becoming lasts. Our last practice, our last game, our last performance, our last homecoming, and lastly, our last day. We didn't, get, we didn't quite get the luxury of understanding that the last day we were on campus was truly our last day here, but it was nonetheless. No one knew when we left that we wouldn't be coming back, but as the announcements and closures kept coming, we all began to realize that senior year was definitely not going to end as planned. However, there is good news. The class of 2020 can brag that we survived not one, but two dangerous illnesses, the coronavirus and the worst case of senioritis CG has ever seen. While I am sure that none of us were thrilled with how we had to wrap up our time at CG, Mayberry would assure us all that commencement still means beginning. Even if the future seems uncertain, we are coming into our opportunity to take it into our hands and make it brighter. Thank you. Graduates and family members who are with us this evening, the Board of Education and faculty and extended family members who are with us via live stream, it's an honor to be part of the 142nd graduation ceremony for Columbus Grove Schools and I think it's safe to say our first drive-in commencement in our school's history. And I just have to say, this is the first event we have been together in, in over two and a half months and usually the month of May is just packed with events where this school is busy all the time and, and it's just so great to see everybody here and we've, we've been blessed with some wonderful weather uh, this evening as well. And I know as I can look right across the alley there, uh, our longest running board member, Mr. Brad Brubaker, I don't think in his 20 plus years of being a board member he's ever sat on the top Fire, uh, fire escape steps of the Methodist Church. Thanks for waving, Bala, uh, to, to, for a commencement ceremony. So it's my pleasure to recognize the honor graduates for the class of 2020. But before I do that, I'd like to recognize two of our graduates who will be joining the ranks of our country's military upon graduation. Brothers Dylan and Dakota Sargent have enlisted in the military as Dylan will enter the United States Navy and Dakota will enter the United States Army after graduation. Thank you both gentlemen for your future service to our country. <laughs> Feel free to honk those horns for those guys. You know, I don't think this, this evening's uh, class speakers could have said it any better. The end of your senior year is not what you dreamed of. Over the last two months, there's been a, a lot of conversation with regards to what's been lost, particularly for our seniors. But I hope when you look back on this difficult time, it's not the focus on what was lost, but rather how people responded to this situation in such a positive way. And the spirit of community that we witnessed in Columbus Grove has been inspiring to us all from your teachers who totally transformed their instructional design in a matter of hours, to your families who learned how to coexist and put together a workable school day from home while many parents worked from home, creating a number of challenges that you had to navigate. To community members and businesses who contacted the school to donate money to help our most vulnerable families in any way possible, to our first responders like the Columbus Grove Police Department who are here with us tonight to make this commencement a reality, and the Columbus Grove Volunteer Fire Department, who are uptown anxiously awaiting to lead the class of 2020 through the streets of Columbus Grove. And from what I heard, I think there's now a, a detour to Vonsville as well, so it should be an exciting night. Many of you are leaving Columbus Grove in just a few short months, whether it be to go to college, the military, or a job opportunity. 
but I hope you will always remember how your community united during one of our country's most difficult moments. Class of 2020, while the COVID-19 crisis will always be associated with your class, you did not need a pandemic for your class to make its mark on the annals of our district's history. As Mr. Best mentioned, this is an incredibly high achieving class with 31 honor graduates, a school record. Along those lines, our Quiz Bowl team, led by this year's seniors, won its second straight PCL Quiz Bowl title, which is a first in school history. In athletics, we won a second consecutive Northwest Conference Don Bachman Award, which is another first in our school's history. This class's musical and artistic talents are well documented. Over 20 senior marching band members are in this class, and also I believe we will be one of the only schools in the entire state that will have a spring musical, even if it's in July. Also, I think this class has another unofficial record as it contains four sets of twins. We have Anna and Becca Choi, the very talented young ladies who are heading off to the universities of Rochester and Cincinnati this fall. We have Dylan and Dakota Sargent. As you saw, they are going to be serving in our country's military and they were outstanding state qualifying wrestlers. We have Angel and Alex Schneider who were incredible multi-sport athletes. And then we have the Mackey twins, Austin and Owen, who, well, we're just, we're just happy they're graduating with us this evening. <laughs> Just kidding, Austin Owen. We love you, and I know uh, Austin's going to do a grade at Bowling Green, and, and Owen's going to be playing baseball for Bluffton University next year. And finally, this class contains a rock band that released its first signal on YouTube and online radio this past month. So maybe someday when, we, when the band split is world famous, we'll be able to say we saw their very first concert at Turner Hall in Columbus Grove. So class of 2020, you did not need a pandemic to make your mark. You did this with your own accomplishments. And I'd like to close with a, with a statement I heard from Governor DeWine's press conference last month. He shared a portion of a letter that his son-in-law, who is a teacher and coach in Columbus, penned to his athletes. The son-in-law took a line from the song True Hero, Heroes, and it states, true heroes are measured not by what they gain, but rather what they give away. Class of 2020, you gave the last quarter of your K-12 experience and all that goes with it. You gave up a normal graduation ceremony and likely graduation party. You gave up sports seasons that left us all to ask, or left us all to ask what might have been. But as a result of what you gave, you very likely gave or saved the lives of fellow Ohioans, knowing that all likelihood you would be fine, but the others' lives would have been in peril. And over the next few years, when you look around your community, you'll very likely see people who will be here for years to come, and they will be here because of what you gave away. So class of 2020, know that you'll be remembered not for just your accomplishments, but also your character and how you responded to this crisis. And we wish you the best as you transition to the next phases of your lives. At this time, it is my pleasure to recognize the honor students for the class of 2020. Honor graduates are seniors we recognize for achieving a grade point average of 3.5 or higher for their entire high school career. Our first honor graduate is Lila M. Aguirre. Lila is the daughter of DJ Aguirre and Jose Aguirre. In the fall, Lila plans to enter the workforce. Jared J. Basinger. Jared is the son of Jeff and Melissa Basinger. In the fall, Jared plans to attend the University of Findlay, majoring in animal science pre-vet. Jacob G. Bish. Jacob is the son of Angela McClure and Chad McClure. In the fall, Jacob plans to attend the University of Dayton. Cassidy Nicole Brinkman. Cassidy is the daughter of Jer Jerry and Amy Brinkman. In the fall, Cassidy plans to attend the University of Findlay, majoring in nursing and continuing her track career. Anna Gabrielle Choi. Anna is the daughter of Adam and Sue Choi. In the fall, Anna plans to attend the University of Cincinnati, majoring in interior design. Rebecca May Choi. Becca is the daughter of Adam and Sue Choi. In the fall, Becca plans to attend the University of Rochester, majoring in chemical engineering. Madison Brienne Ditto. Madison is the daughter of Zane Ditto and Cammie Marsh. 
In the fall, Madison plans to attend James A. Rhodes State College, majoring in nursing and minoring in social work. McKenna Marie Dosek. McKenna is the daughter of Tina and Derek Dosek. In the fall, McKenna plans to attend the University of Finley, majoring in AYA English education. Delaney Nicole Dotson. Delaney is the daughter of Shane and Jill Dotson. In the fall, Delaney plans to attend the University of Finley, majoring in environmental health safety and sustainability. Nathan Bricker Dunbar. Nathan is the son of Jack and Ann Dunbar. In the fall, Nathan plans to attend the University of Toledo, majoring in biology. Alyssa Marie Ellibrock. Alyssa is the daughter of Dave and Cheryl Ellibrock. In the fall, Alyssa plans to attend Bowling Green State University, majoring in early childhood education and continuing her running career. Tristan Joshua Scott Gillette. Tristan is the son of Kristen Smith and Joshua Gillette. In the fall, Tristan plans to attend Bowling Green State University, majoring in pre-med. Abigail Louise Gladwell. Abby is the daughter of Jeff and Regina Caton. In the fall, Abby plans to attend the University of Toledo, majoring in biology and minoring in psychology. Emma Leah Joy Griffith. Emmy is the daughter of Scott and Diana Griffith. In the fall, Emmy plans to attend Bluffton University, majoring in nursing. Peyton Olivia Hawker. Peyton is the daughter of Bob and Jody Hawker. In the fall, Peyton plans to attend the University of Finley, majoring in nursing. Claire Cassidy Heilman. Cassie is the daughter of Kay and Bill Heilman. In the fall, Cassie plans to attend the University of Finley, majoring in pre-med and minoring in psychology. Caitlin Elizabeth Herman. Caitlin is the daughter of Chris and Jackie Herman. In the fall, Caitlin plans to attend Bowling Green State University, majoring in biology. Seth Myron Coli. Seth is the son of Doug Coli and Jamie Allen. In the fall, Seth plans to attend The Ohio State University, majoring in biology. Paige Elizabeth Langhouse. Paige is the daughter of Mike and Kay Langhouse. In the fall, Paige plans to attend the University of Findlay, majoring in biology. Rob J. Langhouse. Rob is the son of Paul and Sandy Langhouse. In the fall, Rob plans to attend the University of Dayton, majoring in pre-med. Nathan Matthew Manley. Nathan is the son of Eric and Jennifer Manley. In the fall, Nathan plans to attend Ohio Northern University, majoring in mechanical engineering. Brandon Edward Mormon. Brandon is the son of Rick and Tammy Mormon. In the fall, Brandon plans to enter the workforce. Michael E. Mormon. Michael is the son of Kate and Gary Mormon. In the fall, Mike plans to participate in the Grove Apprenticeship Program. Will Nussbaum. Will is the son of Dave and Christy Nussbaum. In the fall, Will plans to attend the University of Cincinnati, majoring in civil engineering. Ivy Lynn Parker. Ivy is the daughter of Mike and Kristen Parker. In the fall, Ivy plans to attend the University of Northwestern Ohio, majoring in medical assistant technology and continuing her cheerleading career. Brees Allen Pingle. Brees is the son of Thad and Crystal Pingle. In the fall, Brees plans to attend the Ohio State University, majoring in computer science and engineering. Emily Rose Reitinger. Emily is the daughter of Michael and Roseanne Reitinger. In the fall, Emily plans to attend the Ohio State University, majoring in business administration. Addison Grace Schaefer. Addie is the daughter of Andy and Amy Schaefer. In the fall, Addie plans to attend Cedarville University, majoring in nursing and minoring in biblical studies. Kara Rose Schmidt. Kara is the daughter of Donald Schmidt and Mary Schmidt. In the fall, Kara plans to attend Ohio Northern University, majoring in pharmacy. Evan J. Schrader. Evan is the son of Mark Schrader and Elisa Clevenger. In the fall, Evan plans to attend the Ohio State University. Emma Elizabeth Wenzinger. Emma is the daughter of Roger and Wendy Wenzinger. 
In the fall, Emma plans to attend the University of Toledo, majoring in communications and minor, minoring in marketing. Congratulations to our class of 2020 honor graduates. At this time, we'd like to focus your attention to the video screen for a special video tribute to the class of 2020. When you 
look back on times we had I hope you smile And know that through the good and through the bad I was on your side when nobody could hold us down We claimed the brightest star and we, we came so far And know that we won't forget yeah. Whenever you remember times on back Remember how we held our heads so high When all this world was there for us Proud. When you look back and see how far we've come, it was our time to shine. At this time, I would like to thank several people who helped make this commencement ceremony a special evening. Thank you to the staff at Apollo Career Center for their help and support with our Apollo graduates. Mrs. Pingle and Mr. Dale Schrader and his maintenance team, who were a tremendous help getting ready for this evening. Thank you to Senior Class Advisor, Mr. Terry Schnipke, National Honor Society Advisor, Mrs. Carrie Weisenberger, I'd like to thank the guidance department, Mrs. Mindy Losh, Mrs. Brenda Bruce, and Mrs. Vicki Schrader for their countless hours and work to make sure that our seniors are aware of the opportunities that are available to them. Thank you to Mr. Keene and Mr. Andy Schaefer for their technological help with this year's graduation. I would like to thank Superintendent Mr. Nick Verhoff and the Board of Education for your endless support of our students. In addition, I'd like to thank the faculty for challenging and preparing this senior class for this evening. And finally, to you, class of 2020, and to your parents for your contributions to Columbus Grove High School during your academic career.
Columbus Grove Board of Education, Superintendent Mr. Nick Verhoff, I certify that these young adults before you have met the requirements and standards of the State of Ohio and the Columbus Grove Board of Education, and therefore are qualified and ready to receive their diplomas. Sydney M. Witteberg. Breeze Allen Pingle. Paige Elizabeth Langhouse. Emily Rose Ridinger. Ivy Lynn Parker. Claire Cassidy Heilman. Lila M. Aguirre. Deuce W. Alt. Jared J. Basinger. Jacob G. Bish. Rachel Virginia Boggs. Miranda May Briggs. Cassidy Nicole Brinkman. Anna Gabrielle Choi. Rebecca May Choi. Kiara Marie Daniels. Madison Brianne Ditto.
McKenna Marie Dosick. Delaney Nicole Dotson. Nathan Bricker Dunbar. Alyssa Marie Ellerbrock. Mark Fanger. Abigail Elizabeth Fisk. Vanessa Lynn Gander. Tristan Joshua Scott Gillette. <laughs> Abigail Louise Gladwell. Peyton Taylor Gonzalez. <laughs> Emilia Joy Griffith. Morgan Faith Hawker. Peyton Olivia Hawker. Caitlin Elizabeth Herman. Evan C. Hopkins. Seth Myron Coli. Rob J. Langhouse. Angela Louise Lugabil. Tucker A. Mag. Austin A. Mackey. Owen J. Mackey.
Nathan Matthew Manley. Michaela Lee Martin. Grant W. McCauley. Brandon Edward Mormon. Michael E. Mormon. Will Newsbaum. Taylor McHale Pack. Andrea Phillips. Daniel Pitney. Kid Matthew Pitney. Leandra Rose Price. Autumn Ray Renner. Hunter L. Reynolds. Zachary D. Ridenauer. Zachary S. Roberts. Joseph C. Roman. Braden J. Rudisil. Chelsea Renee Sandlin. Dakota Allen Sargent. Go, 
Dylan Spencer Sargent. Addison Grace Schaefer. Kara Rose Schmidt. Johnny Earl Schmidtebush the third. Alex Troy Schneider. Angel Elaine Schneider. Evan J. Schrader. Abigail Marie Schaefer. Jared Norman Siefker. Tanner G. Smith. Haley Lynn Spencer. Kaylee N. Stauffer. McKenna Elizabeth Thompson. Marilyn Star Verhoff. Zachary William Warnicky. Thanks for everything, Mr. Best. Appreciate it. Caden S. Watkins. Emily Ann Watt. Good. 
Emma Elizabeth Wenzinger. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honor to present to you Columbus Grove's graduating class of 2020. This concludes the graduation ceremony for this evening. To the 79 graduates here before us, Columbus Grove Local Schools wishes you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Class of 2020, you came here today as seniors learning from the past and testing the present. Now you are leaving as alumni to challenge the future. Con congratulations, graduates. As we exit the parking lot, please wait for Mr. Cavillage to signal for you to leave for an orderly dismissal. Thank you and good evening. Ha, ha, ha. 
my place. 